Hey everybody, it's Yanni Collins from Oz Living, where we feature serial entrepreneurs, thought leaders, and prominent figures in the blockchain space. And with me today is the Director of Business Development with Ethica, Vino Tavarasu. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me, Yanni. And you were born and raised here in Singapore. That's right. Born and raised in Singapore. All right. So before we get into your company, your incredible organization, could you tell us a little bit about your background and how you get into the space? Sure. So um, my background is actually in finance and uh, technology sales. So I'd say that I was, um, for lack of a better term, a little late to the party. Um, so my, my foray into blockchain technology and cryptocurrency um, spans probably about a year and a half, two years now. So it's been an incredibly steep learning curve, but a very rewarding and exciting journey, I must say. I'm so with you on that. And now I want to quickly pivot to your company. So tell us more about what is Etika. Right. So Ethica is basically a first of its kind digital asset exchange um, based on ESG thematic impact investing. We were founded to address three critical challenges. The first being lack of validated opportunities for retail investors to participate in environmental and social projects. These were traditionally and still traditionally offered to institutional investors right, who demand excessively high returns and we want to address that issue. Secondly, we also want to address the lack of funding opportunities for impact entrepreneurs to, you know, to get their projects up and running off the ground. Um, this could potentially be due to uh, lack of track record. Uh, so we want to really address that issue. And finally, we also want to address the widening, the ever widening economic and social gap um, for underserved communities in the world as well. So that was why Ethica was founded. And the vision, like what is your goal in the long term? Right. So Ethica's vision is actually to unite people to alleviate global environmental and social challenges for a better future for all of us together. And how do we do this? So we, at Ethica, we actually believe in this African concept. I, I wonder if you've heard of it. It's called Ubuntu. Um, not like the... Yeah, it's not like the, uh, I mean, there's a similar operating system, right, uh, in technology, but it's actually a, an African concept, which basically says that every authentic individual human being is part of a larger, you know, societal, environmental, and spiritual world. In other words, I am because we are. So that's why, um, you know, and while we believe in this concept at Ethica, I think we're also walking the talk by pledging to donate 80% of our profits generated back into the Ethica ecosystem for the betterment of, uh, of society. And you mentioned the Ethica ecosystem. Tell us more about that. Right. So the Ethica ecosystem, right, why was this uh, uh, founded, like I, like I shared earlier? Basically, we want to build a, a, um, a scalable and circular ecosystem. Now, firstly, how, how are we going to do this? Number one, we want to uh, build a simple, and accessible and robust digital uh, ecosystem for retail investors to be able to participate, directly fund projects and causes they care about, while at the same time a to a tokenizing and crowdfunding projects for impact entrepreneurs who previously could not uh, uh, gain access to funding. So that's what we want to do. We want to build a digital space for retail investors to fund projects directly, um, which are you know, started by impact entrepreneurs. And beyond that, what we also want to do is to uh, deliver digital wallets and blockchain education to underserved communities worldwide, to allow them to participate, benefit, and create wealth for themselves in this ecosystem as well. Uh, if you look at it currently, um, global adoption rate for blockchain technology and cryptocurrency is at about 4%. And it's imperative that we get these underserved communities on board as quickly as possible so that, you know, the, 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 uh, the, the widening gap that I shared about earlier, so that we can close that gap and not let that, you know, spiral out of control. That's really our objective at Ethica. I love that you are, um, you have these key elements uh, on what makes a, a, a 
a great blockchain ecosystem That's makes right. it you know perfect and um just to expound more about the donation and giving programs that you have um could you tell us more about that sure so while we're doing you know while we're building this ecosystem while we're building opportunities for retail investors to fund projects i think a larger part of uh, uh, of our objective is really to address the donation and giving space as well right so that is a huge huge space globally uh donations charitable giving and so on but what we feel at Ethica is that there's a lot of opportunities and potential for improvement in the whole process. Statistically, um, it's uh, statistically worldwide, 40% of every dollar donated does not reach its intended recipient. And that's honestly unfortunate. And that's just an average number. To be honest, in, in other parts of the world, in lesser developed markets, you could potentially go, go as high as 60 to 80%. Can you imagine if, if someone were to donate $1 to, to a community or to, to a cause, mm -hmm. hardly 20 cents, 30 cents actually reaches that recipient and the rest you know, gets lost due to slippage. Now, that's something we want to address. And I think blockchain technology is fantastic for this market simply because the transparency that blockchain technology adopts allows for an increase in trust as well as confidence. So when, when a donor is more confident in the process, I think they'll be more, more, more likely to donate for, for good causes. Now, let me just give you a, a very simple example, Yanni. Let's say you know, there's a community out there in, in, in Bataan, Philippines, for example, and there's a flooding that occurs. Now, we would have airdropped our, or we would have delivered our digital wallets to that community in the past, and we would be immediately able to identify uh, which of these communities are affected. And you know, within 24 hours, if, for example, corporate donors, if we've got corporate donors who participate and they want to, to address this cause, we could get these uh, corporate donors to fund, you know, to make their donations and they could literally track via reports that we provide them, you know, on where exactly the money that they donate is going to and the, the beneficiary. So if they donate a dollar, they can be sure that one dollar reaches the intended beneficiary. So that's part of uh, our vision as well. This is revolutionary. This is easily a cause that I would be passionate about and would spread a word to people, um, definitely. Now, I want to link this to Oz. Like, what is the tie-up with Oz all about? Could you tell us more about this partnership? Sure, sure. I mean, I think we've got a fantastic working relationship with Oz. Um, the teams know each other very well and have worked together closely. So currently, um, we're actually working together with Oz on the exchange um, licensing as well as ongoing support for, for the uh, communities um, in which Oz is active in, as well as the impact projects uh, that Oz is working on, you know, within the uh, network, Oz's network of free trade zones. And we're starting off with Bataan, and we're hoping to really, you know, pro proliferate and get out there and, and work with Oz uh, in this aspect. All right, and you have a token called Ethica Token. Could you tell us more about this token? Sure, sure. So, as I had shared earlier, the Ethica Exchange, right? So the exchange functions as, as you would. You can trade on the exchange as you would on any other exchange. Now, the Ethica Exchange is similar to the, to the uh, engine of our ecosystem, right? It's the engine to our ecosystem where you do your trading and, you know, basically whatever else an exchange does. Now, beyond that, the Ethica Token, which is actually a native um, impact utility token, it's the fuel to our ecosystem. So the exchange is the engine, while the Ethica token is the fuel to this ecosystem. Mm -hmm. And you know, going back to uh, earlier when I shared with you, Yanni, when I mentioned that at Ethica, we want to walk the talk by donating 80% of our profits to, back to the ecosystem. So traditionally, the, the Ethica token, you can use it to vote, you, know, you can um, trade and you can stake the token on the ecosystem. Now, but beyond that, the 80% of the profits which we are generating uh, you know, and going back into the ecosystem, a large portion of that will be used to actually buy back Ethica tokens and burn them. Now, this makes the tokens deflationary in nature. And naturally, when you burn the tokens, it reduces supply, thereby increasing demand and the prices as well. Now, I had shared with you earlier that we will, we will be uh, you know, delivering digital wallets to the underserved communities. Now, beyond that, we will also be airdropping our tokens apart from other tokens which we would have listed on our exchange. As, as we give these tokens to these communities, naturally, when we burn our Ethica tokens, the, the value of the tokens go up and the community benefits from these tokens. So that's exactly what we're trying to do. We want the, the, the community, the less privileged and the underserved, to build their wealth and then they become retail investors 
into the ecosystem. So that's where you see the real circular and scalable ecosystem that Ethica envisions. Wow, okay, well, this is a mouthful and a lot to unpack here, sure. but I, I was completely moved and inspired. So thank you so much for um, joining us today, uh, Vino. No, thank you very much for having us, uh, Yanni. Thank you very and much. And for inspiring many. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thank you very much.